Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rama, a consultant obstetrician working at Fernandez Hospitals. Today, I will be answering frequently asked questions about hypertension in pregnancy. Hypertension in pregnancy is when the blood pressure is more than or equal to 140 by 90 millimeters of mercury. There are four types of hypertension, gestational hypertension, hypertension that develops after 20 weeks of pregnancy without any protein loss in the urine and usually there are no other signs of organ damage. Preeclampsia, this occurs when hypertension develops after 20 weeks of pregnancy with or without any loss of protein in urine. Preeclampsia may be associated with signs of damage to other organ systems including the kidneys, liver, blood or brain. Chronic Hypertension High blood pressure developing either before pregnancy or during the first 20 weeks of pregnancy. The fourth type is chronic hypertension with superimposed preeclampsia. This is preeclampsia which develops in someone who already has chronic hypertension. Hypertension in pregnancy can cause complications to both mother and the baby. In the mother, it can cause fits, stroke, kidney failure, fluid in the lungs and can also affect the liver and blood clotting. In the baby, it can cause growth restriction, prematurity due to need for early delivery and separation of placenta which can be detrimental to the baby. First-time pregnant women are at higher risk of developing preeclampsia due to hormonal changes. Other risk factors include age more than 35 years, BMI of more than 30, pregnancies following assisted conception, multiple pregnancies, women who have medical disorders like chronic hypertension, kidney disease, diabetes and previous history of preeclampsia are few of them. Educating the women about the condition is of utmost importance. Need for regular monitoring of the blood pressure at home and having access to emergency health care 24 bar 7 if the blood pressure is more than 140-90 or any other worrying symptoms like headache, blurring of vision, epigastric pain, vomitings must be explained to the women. If medications have been prescribed, they have to be taken regularly. Complete salt restriction in the diet is not required, but it's important to avoid foods with excess salt like pickles, chips, etc. Induction of labor before due date to avoid complications to mother and baby may be required. Blood pressure needs to be closely monitored after delivery and medications to be continued if needed. There may be sudden increase in the blood pressure on day 3 or 4 which one needs to be watchful about. Those who develop complications in pregnancy need to have a long term follow up with the physician. Women who are overweight need to have their lipid profile checked annually along with trying for weight reduction. It is advisable that women with chronic hypertension and any other medical problems have preconceptional counselling and 
evaluation of any organ involvement and change of medications which are safe in pregnancy in pregnancy enhanced first trimester screening between 11 to 13 plus 6 weeks to check for blood flow to the baby and to measure placental derived growth factor which is secreted by the placenta helps in assessing the risk and to start ecosprin 150 mg to emphasize hypertension in pregnancy is the most common complication affecting women in rural and urban india equally this needs close monitoring early intervention and timely delivery to prevent complications to both mother and the baby i hope this gives you all an overview about hypertension in pregnancy do comment or messages if you have any other queries